Well, welcome to From the Sidelines. You're with Tom, Brian and Steve. And as we do it every time this week, we're going to talk about, well, it's not the round of L, the NRL that's just been played. It's the semifinals that have just been played. Oh, pretty boring lot of semifinals too. Your team wasn't there, were they, Steve? Well, we're going to talk oh, about... Boy. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> hey, in the knock-on effect cup, yeah. Souths are in the grand final. Yeah, we got knocked out last week in yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, you knocked out yeah, the Bears. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway... So, yes, I do have a grand final to look forward to. Brian, how about you? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Tom, you well? Roosters. Roosters. Oh, and Good. Tom's showing off his new jumper today. Got it today. Yeah, don't, don't harass us because of the Americanism of it. We, we just don't understand. He who has an NFL jersey in manly colours. <laughs> I'm not wearing it. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Why? We just bought the whole show. That's it. <laughs> Done. Yeah, I know. Stood up and yeah. waved it around. That's spoiled sports. That's <laughs> spoiled sports. Look. Oh, dear. All right. Let's talk about Suncorp Stadium. The Broncos played the Knights, and it was a 26. 26- no. So they played the Storm. Yes. Yeah. And it was a 26 0 thrashing as well. Yes. It was. That was a performance. I, t- I tell you, that was defensively. Defensively was what impressed me more than anything. Yeah. I, look, I think. Storm are off, there's no doubt. Um, they're not playing as well as they can. I think Munster's had a very quiet season by his, yep. by his measurements. Um, but in the end, the Broncos just smothered them. Yes. They just suffocated them, honestly. I, I must admit, I, I've been waiting for the Broncos to fall over like they did last year, and I don't think they're going to. No. I, I honestly think, I honestly almost think they can match Penrose oh, and yeah. beat Penrose. Absolutely. Can I just say, Andrew Johns must listen to our show because he's finally come out and said what? Well, We've been saying what, you've well, been, what, what I've you been saying. Particularly have been saying. That's no, right. no one's going to beat Brisbane or Penrith. Right. They're, they're the grand finalists. And they, from about eight weeks ago, there's just no one that's close to them. Yeah. I can't believe I picked the Storm, just so you know. I like, picked the I, picked I did. Like, I've been saying Broncos all year. Yeah. Semi-final, I picked the Storm. In fact, I think I've probably got a 30 round. No, I feel you've got four yeah. games right. Um, <laughs> it's not hard to get four he's, games right. He's a, did you get four games right? No, he doesn't know what he's doesn't doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. I've got to look, look, look at the right okay. round. He does know what he's doing. I don't um, know what I'm yep. doing. Yeah, uh, Broncos are very good. They shut yes. down Munster. Yes. Uh, and who are the, t- the two young forwards that, are, that came off the bench? They just, they yeah. smothered him. Uh, big bloke, can't think of his name. Keenan, Keenan, Paya, Paya, Yeah, I don't Paya, know. Paya, that's him. Yeah. He was a monster. Yeah, he, he and uh, and Kobe Hetherington, they came on and they just tore him up. Yeah, you know that's you know, that, and that's what you need. You need two really good guys coming off the bench, and they had it, and they just destroyed Melbourne. And Carrigan was superb. Yeah, yep, yep. he really was. And they found themselves a good little halfback. The Broncos. Yeah, yeah. I don't, where did they get him from? <laughs> no, nobody was nobody 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 <laughs> at this side of Sydney wants to talk about it. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I want to know this. Steve, looking back now, should you have kept him? <laughs> you know, I, I've, I think about that regularly. Every time I see him on fire, I think about it. But, but let me tell you what I believe. Oh, yeah? I, I think Adam Reynolds needed to leave South. That, that's not a bad call. Be, no. And let, let me say, I'll yeah, explain yeah. why. No, no, I'm, I'm I just mean, even, yeah. even Cooper Cronk said yeah. after that, that he needs to step up more for South to win a grand final. After the 2021 grand final we lost... Yep. He was saying he's not the guy who's going to give it to him. He's not the halfback who's going to give South mm. a yeah. grand final. So he's now left. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I actually think he's playing out of his skin because he's no longer at South. I think it's given him a new lease of life. Yeah. I think it's given him every opportunity to try something different with a new bunch of guys. And good luck to him. I'm so, but, so basically what he's saying is South held him back. Yeah. Well, as, as basically, they do, yeah. As they do, like, as they're doing with Latrell, who at the Roosters was a superstar and at South says, well, well uh, listen, we're, we're, we're criticised. And, and I'm, I'm actually, I would accept that because we're actually a breeding ground. Look at Luke <laughs> Keery. Look at, look at, look at. Look at <laughs> He's got one junior. Listen, listen, look at Luke Keery. <laughs> He's junior. on fire. Look one at Adam junior. Reynolds. He's on fire. One junior you've got. One junior. Oh, we've got more than they one junior. They went to other clubs to get better is what, they, what happened. Hey, well, I'm ripped off here. I've got no bonus points. There aren't any Perfect bonus points for four games. Oh, seriously? There was during the regular He's season. Still winged, yeah, it? during the regular during season. The regular season. I'm You're still on that. Rip off. That's a rip off. Cool. Anyway, at least I'm prepared to admit we probably made a mistake, but I think I think he needed to leave. Yeah. I think it was good I on think, him. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. 
Well, yeah. you didn't say that 10 minutes ago. That's all. You're bagging me, but now you're saying I'm right. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, Good they on. absolutely smothered the storm and they broke them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and, and hopefully they stay broken. Well, perhaps isn't coming back. No. Oh, oh, no, that was Don't you feel that bad for him, though? Oh, that's tragic. Yeah. I, I'll admit, I'm not a particular fan. But when a bloke comes back after such a horrific yeah. injury, yeah. only for that to happen... Yeah, you've got to feel for him. Yeah. yeah. I, I actually feel for him. Yeah, for sure. Me too. Blue Bet Stadium, Penrith Panthers 3, 2 Warriors 6. Lacking Sean Johnson, but that shouldn't have stopped... It should, that, that was an issue, but I, I Panthers still this, scored 32. This, this is what I expected. Yeah, I think everyone did too. Jeez, how good did Cleary play in that game? Yeah. 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 That's, that was, like, that's, like, that's like him saying, don't worry, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Yeah, he was even a, without he was Luai, I've got this. Yeah. Yeah. He was absolutely incredible in that game. Yeah. I, I, I kind of feel for the Warriors because... You know, it's it's easy to say, well, if there's no Luai, you've just got to shut down Cleary. Mm. That's all you have to do, shut Cleary down. Easy but how do you do that? I don't know. No. It was, it's impossible. He was, well, he was sensational. The, the only, I mean, the thing is, though, if, if, you're, if he's... Because of the pack of forwards he's behind, yeah. that's what means he can do what he does. Yeah. Yeah. Dominate their forwards and you'll slow him down. The problem is it's very hard to dominate those forwards. He still ran, under, ran for 194 no, metres. I get that, it because his insane. forwards made the space for him to do it. It was insane. Can I ask you, gentlemen, what did you think of Luai's post on social media about uh, up the pars? Yeah, I liked it. Did you? Really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I thought yeah, it was I, a little bit tacky. Oh, come, come on. on. It's, it's just classic. It, 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 oh. Luai's got no clue. What? He's got no I clue. thought it was brilliant. I didn't even know it was him. I laughed at it when I saw it. <laughs> he's got, he's got no I went, I went, yeah, take that, Warren. He doesn't read the room at all. Up the was, up the was. He doesn't read the room at all. I, I thought it was funny. Well, that's okay. You're allowed Just to. Just because yeah. you two are old and got no sense of humour? <laughs> well, oh, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a really bad pun done really well. <laughs> all right, there you go. I just thought it was a really bad pun. Uh, there, there, there you go. go, and I didn't even know it was Lilo, so... Doesn't yeah, bother anyway, me. so so where do you think it, the Warriors... It's right up there with the Eels are our sons or something like that. Yeah, that was really classy too. Yeah. Where, yeah. where do you think the Warriors are at the, at the moment? Oh. I mean, it, this was a bit of a, a shock for oh, them. Shot across the bow, for sure. The, look, that game went as expected. I don't know. How yeah. much better do you think that would have been with Sean Johnson? Oh, I mean, they would have scored more tries, but I don't I still think they would have lost. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I, Sean Johnson wasn't going to stop all the points that no. Penrith scored. No. Yeah. I think they would have scored more points, but I still yeah. think it might Penrith have would have said, okay, you scored 12, we'll score 30. Yeah. You scored 20, yeah. we'll score 40. Yeah. You know, it's just the way they play at the moment. Points Bet Stadium, Sydney Roosters 13, Cronulla Sharks 12. <laughs> We're at the wedding. <laughs> you, can you believe he's watching... A the football last game. Minutes, the last ten minutes. A football game at my daughter's wedding. The night wedding. was over. That was that the was night was over. Absolutely atrocious, Steve. Isn't that terrible? What, what disrespect that is! Disrespect. Yeah. Like wow. like the Roosters, they're disrespectful, <laughs> aren't they? What what? Oh, what there's, a, there's certain people who shouldn't be watching this because because I'm being a bit of a hypocrite right now. What a gutsy performance <laughs> that was. Seriously, I mean, the Sharks were the better team. They did, they should have won this game, but the Roosters found a way to win, and you know. Um, Tedesco deserved to go out you know, for 10 minutes for what he did. There's no doubt about that. Yep. Um, and they scored once in that time. Um, deflection was a lucky try to the Roosters, but you take your luck when you can. Of course you know. Did. I mean, there was no did. cheating there. There was no sort of foul play or anything that caused it. It was just a lucky deflection. They took it. And then those two charge downs, um, you can argue whether they're onside or not, but the point is that they charged them down and, and stopped them equally in the game. That was a Well, I, I haven't heard any talks that they were offside. No, no, right. Well, you, when you see where Kiri came from, he couldn't have been offside. He was going at 100 miles an yeah. hour. But, you know, to, to, to hold that team out um, with, what was it, Crichton and um, in, the, in the centres, um, Billy Smith continued to play with a broken jaw. Yep. No, 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 no. Sorry, Tom, Tom. He went off a, t- Tom, went off a head Tom, injury. Tom, Tom. Yes. Only South players do that. Please. He went off with a head injury assessment, came back and played. Why do apparently I had a broken jaw. He's having surgery tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what that's what football players do. But if you're a South, you're like, 
a Superman or something. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. you get if first yeah, second yeah, of the, and, first and, second of a grand final yeah, year in the jaw. It's lauded, should be taken to hospital. It's lauded, you play for eighty minutes. Lauded upon you if you're a South Sydney supporter or player. It, if you're a South Sydney player, you're expected to play with a broken jaw. None of this coming off for concussion. None of this <laughs> hey, bumping the his, head and having to hands, get off. Out of his huh? hands. If that had happened this year. He would be no Sa- Sa- Sam would him. have told the ref where to go and kept playing. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he would have told, he would have put his finger over the, the bunker, bunker and he's gone. And they would have said, Yes, Sam, anyway, you're right, stay This on. was this is a, a, a brilliant performance. As the coach said, he said there was there was not a lot of football played here, but it was a lot of heart. He said the football will have to improve, there's no doubt about it, but the heart and the spirit was incredible. Um okay. I was can I bring up two things? Yes. Can Ooh. can we ask Tedesco to stop going off at the ref all the I time. I think he does do it too much. I he, think you're right. Honestly, he's yeah. almost as bad as Cameron Smith was. Yeah, sometimes I think that. I think that, yeah. yeah Seriously, I, I he, he, it is becoming annoying. Brian, you don't yeah. you disagree? Um, I have no issue with the captain approaching the ref. But I know, I know you call time, it going but off, he, but he sometimes goes he on after the decision the has time. been made. Yeah, and I think that's yeah, that's that's problem. a bad look. Yeah, but all the players go off at the ref. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I, no, it just, I, it, I, I really wish that the refs would like just march them ten. Yeah, so do I. Like, like I'm talking to the captain, and and then I uh, and I, I hate to say it, Jared Maria Hargraves does it all the time. Comes over the top yeah, and starts over over sir, the captain's sir, shoulder. I didn't really hit him. <laughs> like I'd just be going, mate. That's ten. You want to keep talking to well, me? That's another ten. I told you a long time ago. Billy Harrigan was interviewed, and they said he said if Cameron's if you were coaching if you were refing during Cameron Smith's period, what would you do? He said I'd bin him and bin him and bin him until he stopped. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I think they should do it with Tedesco because he's starting to get. Yeah, look, yeah. I, I I have no issue with also, that. Also, a few minutes, minutes six probably. minutes from the end of this, six minutes, five minutes, something like that from the end of this game, Kiri strips a ball. A yeah, blatant people strip. People talk about that. I don't know yeah. when that was. Um, but look. Players get away with that Look, all the yeah, time. Yeah, they're fifty fifties. What about McGuinness going over and being, you know, in a no try? That was a try. I thought it was yeah. a try. Look, again, again, it went up as a no try. Yeah, it, the, I couldn't see there was a hand under the ball. I couldn't see there was. Yeah. There was a, but yeah. can, can but we, I'm going to be but, biased. But did, okay? but 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 even the bunker crawling. Oh, there's fingertips under the ball. How do you see that? Because no one else see, yeah. can I see that. See, I can see the fingertips under. Uh, the ball. But can we also understand that when a ball hits the ground, it's not a solid object. Mm. It's 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 flexible. So it it would expand. It, you know, no, it comes know. out under here. I think we're getting a little bit fussy about yeah. until we can actually see the ball on the ground. Mm. I mean, let's. Yeah, look, I, I look, was. I don't I, want to go back to benefit of the doubt, but I want some common sense in here to say, well, okay, the ball's this big, you know, it's under your arm this much, it's got to have hit the ground. Yeah, look, I was, I was, I was happy with the call on that try, but I thought it was. <clears throat> and I, I thought the two tries that um, uh, Nico Hines put on were superb. Yeah, oh, you know, he was exceptional. The way he wasn't grabbed he? the ball and passed passed out to Katoa. Yeah, immediately was fantastic, and that little ball over the side, over the back, um, yep. that they, they were really good, and that's why I thought we're in danger. Um, yeah. But look, it was just a courageous performance. I don't think it's going to mean anything in the in the long run, but yeah. um, we live to fight another day. Nico, right. work his back. Let's off. let's go on to McDonald Jones Stadium, and this was a brilliant game. Oh, 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 what a cracker! Yeah, Knights and the say. Raiders, thirty to twenty eight. I mean, it, there was until and. Yeah. I've got to say, I love the fact they do extra time before they do golden points. Yes. Let's bring that into the year. Yes. Let's yep. bring it in all year. Oh. Yep. Seriously. I think yeah. that's a good idea. You want to go down and kick one point, knock yourself out, but we're going to have another seven that's minutes right. to get you back. Sure. Exactly. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Which is what the Raiders should have done, by the way, but still. And there's no reason why they couldn't institute that, to be honest, because oh. if they're going to play it out and end up being a draw anyway. I mean, they're going to, and they're, they're talking about about spectator excitement. Well, that was exciting. It was. It to was when, you, when you know you've got, you got another 10 minutes, that, you, that no, that's, please, NRL. I, I don't, I don't like good. games being, being decided by a penalty at the end of the game, but in the end, it was a penalty. Over, was over extra time, I'm fine with it. Yeah. It was a penalty. Yeah. It, yeah, it was a penalty. What, what amazed me was, and obviously this is the crowd, um, Canberra get in front half time to 16 6. Um, mm. And then the Knights come back with, I think, three tries in a row. And I'm thinking, oh, this is done. This game's done. And all of a sudden, before you realise it, Canberra are even. Sure, you know, yeah. It was actually four happened. tries in a row, I think. No, it was three. Three, three? and ten minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, three and, minutes. and all of a sudden, Canberra back in the game. I'm thinking, what happened here? Mm. So um, it would have been some nervous moments for, for the Knights. Um, but uh, I think the crowd got them home in the end. Well, 
There was right. an incident in this game too. There was? Yes, there was. Thoughts on the alleged it bite? Happen. It wasn't a bite. You reckon it wasn't a bite? Okay, tell, tell me why. Okay. I'm, I am curious. I'm curious because okay. I'm, I'm sitting on the fence. Hmm. So what do you think it wasn't a bite for? Because when you shove your arm in someone's mouth yep. and you only have one set of teeth marks... It's not a bite. Oh, one set of teeth. It wasn't. There were two sets of teeth. No, there wasn't. There was one set. There was a. No, there was there was some slobber, and there was one set of teeth marks. There was a picture there where you could see. Hang on, you asked my opinion. Now you shake your head. Yeah, no, no. I'm I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm not agreeing, but I'm listening. Because if I come around the back of you and I shove my arm in your mouth, yep, I will make teeth marks. Mm. There's no, what, it'll why happen. Why you want to try it like now? This, to try and freeze. this is okay, why I've he just left his arm there. No problem. Now, Tom, bite or no bite? I, I'm tending to be with the bite. Okay, because? Um, because in the end... Um, He's uh, going to South. Well, that's one point. Yeah. Um, no, because in the end, Whiten didn't try to dislodge his face from the, from the arm anyway. He didn't make any effort to get rid of it. He stayed there and then eventually, he just, I think he just decided, you know, I've had enough of this and I'm pushing my face down. That's what I thought was happening. Well, I, again, I could come around behind you and shove my arm in your mouth and you couldn't pull your face away. Oh, I don't know. I'd give it a try. No, you couldn't. Come on. All right. You want to do it? <laughs> you, could, you couldn't do it. It's like working with children. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you think? Uh, I think that it was a, a bite of the minorist nature. The minorist? Why do you think it's minorist? It's, a, a, it's either a bite or it's not. Well, Seriously. no, you can, you can chomp or you can chomp. You, you can take a bite out of a piece of bread or you can take a bite out of a piece of steak. <laughs> so there's, there's different <laughs> pressures but applied. But it's still a bite. I'm, I'm curious that if it's put on report, why is he not penalised? Yeah, that was, see, that, that was my point. See, I personally think his hand was in his mouth. You're right. So it's either a penalty for he's for his got him high mm. yep. and, 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 and an illegal tackle or he bit him. Yeah. There has to be something other than you're on report and yep. nothing happened. Yep. Do I think it was a bite? I'm going yes, and I think t- because to the letter of the law, I think it was. I don't think he had much choice I, with an arm sitting in his mouth and body weight coming over the top, which is probably going to be the but argument. I, but, but I also but, think that Tyson Gamble is the kind of guy who could try to get away with that. Oh, too. without doubt, too, it possibly. Well, well, yeah. So I think, yeah, I think he's due for a good four or five weeks on the sidelines. But I think the other thing is too, the ref didn't know what he was looking at. Yeah, the ref, you know, well, that's true. Because well, that's he was looking at it saying, I don't know what I'm looking at. That's why he went up to so the bunker. I again, I could shove my arm in your mouth, well, and I could have a see, good set of teeth marks. See, and that's well, that was a thing on the field. He, he's gone over to the ref, and he's gone, and you could see it. I'm zooming in, and I'm going, what am I looking at? <laughs> exactly. I thought I was looking at teeth marks. No, I was looking at it going, what am I looking at? Like, oh, if, I, if I was the ref, I would have penalised Tyson for the for, for the for the allegation. I actually think I could I see teeth marks, but well, I couldn't. But my point is, I couldn't see two sets yeah, of teeth marks. Either way, marks. if you saw teeth marks, it's a bite, and it should have been a penalty. No, if I come, and swing, if you didn't see teeth marks, then he should have been penalised for making the allegation. If I come into a swinging arm with you, and I you leave teeth marks on my arm, you I, you're going to I'm going to get a penalty because I've got teeth marks. So you're Forget gonna, about the swinging arm. Nah, that's, well, that's what I'm saying. There has to be there has to be something. It can't just be. Then send us look, both Rev, to the bin. He's bit. got a tooth in. He's got a tooth out of his face in my arm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and can I can I just say uh, at about uh, Wednesday, I, I nearly messaged you guys, and I've gone. I nearly messaged you guys to say I'm really worried, I, I, and I mentioned it on our on the NRL, uh, sorry, on the from the sidelines Facebook page. Mm-hmm. No one's picked the Raiders like they were lonely on their own. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking there is no better motivation for a team with that many good players in it to yeah, say there is yeah. no one backing us. Uh, and Ricky made sure everybody knew it at the press conference. Yeah, Ricky had a spit, but that's Ricky. No, but Ricky was proud of his players. Oh, he had a cry. He Why did yeah, he I know, just I know. You know what he could have said? He could have said, that was a turning point in the game because the crowd got it. The crowd uh, rode Newcastle home. They scored three tries. You know, they got over the top of us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if everybody else was missing an international... Oh, we're all missing internationals <laughs> out of our team, Ricky. <laughs> Oh, anyway. But anyway, look, congratulations. Uh, that was a, a superb game. Newcastle yes. came back from 16 6 down. They went to what? 30 to 6, uh, 30 to 18 or something, and then. 28 28. 28, yeah. Look, it was. Great, great. game. Yeah. It really was. And great atmosphere. Wasn't it? Great atmosphere. I mean, yep. Yep. one thing about Newcastle fans is win or lose, they're always there. True. You know? um, yeah, terrific. 
All right, let's go on. To, uh, hang on. No, it's all right. Keep going. I don't want to talk about Sam having a whinge. Sam didn't have a whinge. Yes, he did. Oh, is this on the on the show on the Sunday Footy show? Yeah, it was yeah. On, yeah Sam was yeah. on the Sunday Footy yeah. show. Yeah, had, had a bit of a cry because he got sacked by Russell. No, no, they didn't hang. Russell. No, he didn't hang up on me. We're still buds. No, I love Latrell. I love Cody. Oh, it's all just room. You know, oh no, no. But, Who's he but, kidding? But we he, all but, know. We all know. That yeah, that's but they but you him, don't know. You only know what you're. We in all know favorites. it's garbage. They asked him about his relationship with. Uh, and, he said it's professional. and he said it's professional, which, yeah. which is as much to say, uh, I don't like him and uh, we just But that's okay, with... you're not supposed to like him. We've got to work with each other. It's easy we to don't work. like each other, we work oh. with each other. Oh, is that oh hang on. Oh, I didn't, wow. know that. I didn't, I didn't know even that. know that. Oh, even wow. like Tom. <laughs> <laughs> even like Tom. <laughs> if I put my hand in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll forgive you, bro. Not him. No. See, we don't, you don't have to like people you work with. No, I, but I, it makes it easier. I, it does. Well, yeah, it but does. I go to work, I think, I don't want, I don't need to be friends with everybody at work. I'm just, it's a relationship. That's it. It's a work yeah. relationship. Yeah, but that is a, a relationship. But a rugby league team is, is a workplace that is built on camaraderie. Yes. And you know playing what? for one another. And, and Souths don't, Souths have not done that. So goodbye, and, yeah. Goodbye, Sammy. And, and, Somebody and had to go. And and you know what? I'm more disappointed than Sam going. The fact that um, Eddie Farrow has gone. Who's he? He's been our physio oh, for right. sixteen it's, years, it's seventeen years. Farrah, yeah. Farrah's yeah. brother. Mm. I'm disappointed he's gone. Oh, that's what I remember when he joined you guys. Mm. And then I stirred you because I thought Robbie Farrow was going to come over. And he did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's move on, friends. <laughs> Next week we got two semi-finals. Yep. On Friday night, it's Melbourne Storm and the Sydney Roosters. Mm. Roosters are busted. They've got so many people out. Uh, they're going to find it difficult. Storm, Storm are busted. They've got so many people out. They're going to find it difficult against a winning team. You could take it either way. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I, I hope I hope you're right. But well, but um, you know, I haven't said who I think is going to win yet. Yeah. yeah. Look, I'll be picking the Roosters, of course. Um, based on last week's performance they'll be they'll be up for it um but the storm didn't weren't allowed to play well last week Mm. and um bellamy will be absolutely up them um and they're either fatigued and can't get up in which case the roosters are a chance Mm -hmm. or they will turn it around and just um just put on a clinic you know um i don't know um i you know i i fear for what will happen but um, look, the risk is so much, so much heart. The problem this week was they didn't score hardly any points. You no. know? And, and I think it was because the, the, the defences were so exceptionally good, um, but the Roosters just couldn't finish things off. And uh, if they can't do that this week, they won't Well, score they'll be without points. Manu, they'll be without Smith, they'll be without Suwali. Suwali. Um, and Still without Jared? And no, Jared. Um, Tupu back? No. No, I don't think you'll back. see the season. Yeah. Um, um, and yeah. and all, all the storm are going to be missing is Pappenhausen. Oh. Yeah, they had a couple of oh yeah, a couple oh. of a couple of HIAs that I think have been cleared now. Oh, um, Coates, Coates is out too. Coates yeah. is out. Yeah. 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 Look, I think they're, I think they're both busted. I think the difference, <laughs> I think the hard the, the overcoming part for the storm is that, even when they've lost this year, they haven't come out and made the same mistakes again. Mm. Like they're a well drilled, well coached team, yep. and with that said, I I think it's going to be hard for them to have a, a game like they did against the Broncos, where they weren't in it at all. Yeah, uh, I think that their their forwards probably lack a little bit of punch, but yeah, you gotta you gotta kind of give it to them, don't you? At home, it's it's such an advantage. Look, I yeah. think if, if Manu and Sawali and Billy Smith had been there, because they they they're pretty critical positions they've got to fill. Corey Allen will come into one of the centre spots. Probably Drew Hutchinson, I think, probably yep. will come into another one. Reckon. And he's not a specialist centre. Yep. He's great to have there for his kicking game. Um, but I think that will be the telling... The, the, the Storm will be working on that. They'll look yep. at, the, they'll look at the, the team list tomorrow and they'll be saying, OK, here's the holes we can punch through. Um, so, yeah, look, I've got concerns that we, we'll just run out of puff. But, you know, we played six... Sudden death, basically six sudden death games lately, and it's all or nothing. It's all on the line. So, yep, we'll see. But so, Storm, mm. Roosters, Roosters, Storm for me. Sure. 
Go Media Stadium, Warriors and Newcastle Knights. Look at the betting odds here. The Warriors are way way favourites compared to the Knights here, which wow. I think is surprising. Um, I don't know. I, I'm actually leaning Warriors. Well, the other question is, is Sean Johnson going to be fit? Was it precautionary or is this a long, mm. is this a few week injury? Well, yeah. we'll find out tomorrow. Um, yeah. I think that one of the problems that the Knights had to overcome was that they had the whole, the whole city of Newcastle riding them. Mm-hmm. And they had to overcome that at home yep. uh, with the expectations of a win. Mm. Yeah. Well, the Warriors have got the whole expectation yeah. of a nation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it is going to be very, very tough for the Warriors. Mm. Uh, and I think that uh, the Knights the Knights were shocked against Canberra. Let's face it, 10 in a row. No one's given the Raiders a chance. Mm. And they struggled home. Yeah. I think that that will put them in good stead for this game. Battle hard and no injuries. Yeah. I don't think any uh, the injuries. Yeah, they have the half well, well, Hastings is Hastings, Hastings but, yeah, is still but, but Clune, Clune will come in and do the job. Yeah. He's been terrific. Yeah, but Clune isn't Hastings. Oh uh, no, but but it's the same I, as say as Walker's coming in for Sean Johnson. But but Clune but Clune was very good the couple of weeks that he filled in for, mm. for Hastings, I think. So so is Sean Johnson's gonna be out? Don't know. Well? No, no, but I depends. Don't know. They said it was a well, leg. I don't injury. think he's gonna be hundred percent, that's no. for sure. Well they said leg injury, so if if you take Sean Johnson out of this, I'm gonna go nuts. Yeah, I'm still if going he plays, Knights. I think I'll stay with the Warriors. Yeah, I'm, so, the Knights. I'm going Knights too, in a tight one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so just one last question, well, gentlemen. Before we... Do you Can want we... to talk about the okay. fact that South have made the grand no. final of the um, knock-on it effect? So, it gets. go the Bunnies. There are, there are two teams now further that we can dissect uh, from our ladder. Mm-hmm. Raiders. Where, what do they need to do? Because Ricky said... Oh, we could have finished in the top four, but you didn't. Mm. Yeah. Where do what do the Raiders need to do well, the to Raiders, pick it up a step? Four or five times this year have been leading at half time and fell apart in the second half. Mm. That's what they got to stop they doing. They nearly, they nearly, and they nearly. Well, they did again yeah, this yeah. time. Mm. That's what they got and to the stop. And the other thing too is they finished with a four and against of minus one hundred and thirty seven or something at yeah. the end of the regular season. So yep. something's clearly wrong with with attack or defense. Well, yeah. well they've lost uh, Frawley, Croker, Whiten. Yeah, that's significant. They've got a, mm. got a couple of young they lost fellas coming I through. Yeah, he's he's gone, gone to the UK. Oh, yeah. Okay. They've, they've got a couple of young fellas like Mariotta yeah. is going to take Papali's yeah. place eventually. I think he was good. Yeah. Um, Gula is coming into his own as a as a regular first grader now. Um, mm. I think Matt Tomoko, he's really he's he's like kicked on this year. Oh, they got, they got Seb Chris is going to come back into that team too. Yeah. yeah, and they'll have Savage come back eventually. Yeah. So look, I think they've got some green shoots there. Yeah, they have, but I think um, they're losing a lot of experience and, yeah. a, and a lot of mm. a, a lot of I don't know. But they've like defied the odds leaders couple of years in a row. I know, yeah. but you yeah. take out White and you take out Croker. Yeah, they've lost a lot of leadership. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bring in so bring on bring I, in Keon from uh, South. No, they won't be touching Keon from South. <laughs> um, there'll be two. I, th- I think they need two two marquee players. They need to two. make a big big offer for Hamoli. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Seven, over the seven million dollars. Hey, 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 hey. You leave Molly alone. Six million dollars for seven or, years. Or tell you what, you the two, two Travoyevic brothers would look good in green. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, you're swearing now. Yeah, get your paws off. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, I agree. I think I think the Raiders need, well, I think it's fitness. I think they need to just, I, I don't know why they're falling apart in the second half. It's mental, it's fitness, it's something's not right. You know, it's one, on the nose. One player I do, and I know he's, he's misunderstood at times, but <laughs> Rappiner, I think he's a superb player. Yeah, he oh, is. it's brilliant. He, he, nick, he niggles a lot. He, 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 he's like, he, he, he's like he, he, sh- he would fit in a team with, with Rory Hargraves, <laughs> yeah. the two of them. It'll be like the most hated team in history because there'd be but no man, one. But Manny turns up, but, doesn't he? Oh, he turns up. He's, he's, he's got heart. He's, yeah, he, has. Like, he was playing on one leg. Yeah. Like he was yeah. dead on his feet yeah. and yeah. still kept going. Oh, I love yeah. him. I really do. I, yeah. I know I know he's a bit of a... Yeah, but anyway. He's a bit of a bit of a loose cannon. <laughs> It's a nice way to put it. Uh, yeah, yeah, and sharks. What do, what do the sharks do? Mm. Like seriously, like we know they can play. Yeah, they've underwhelmed. In they the just time. they just seem to fall apart on the big stage. And and playing so, and playing top eight teams. So uh, so you spoke a lot about the game against the Roosters. Mm. The sharks couldn't put them away. No. That was better. And, that was the best. And, and I don't get it because I'm thinking. I was thinking before, maybe it's a strike player they're missing. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a strike player they're missing. Mm-hmm. They've got Braley, Hines, Mulatalo, uh, the Trindle, Jesse yeah, Ramey. Trindle, Trindle's Trindle, good Like, they've yeah, got yeah. strike across the park. They have got yeah. strike. Yeah. They've got the biggest, gruntiest forwards that you've ever yeah. seen. And they're coming into the And a couple too. of big backs. Yeah, yeah. Telekai, <laughs> yeah. monster. Yeah. So, I'm looking at that team going, I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know. Yeah. No, I, I, unlike the Raiders where I said they need some market players, I don't think the, start, the Sharks do. I, and what do they do then? And the other thing too is, Craig Fitzgibbon was the defensive coach at the Roosters and a lot of our success is down to him. And the yeah. thing that they said said was that lately, defence has been their Achilles heel, which is Ooh. interesting. Unless he's unless he's actually farming that off to another co- assistant coach I so he can he focus on the main job. Look, mm. I don't know. I don't know. It's, yeah, maybe they do. They need, they need a spark in attack. Mm. I don't know. But mm. there is... It's really hard to figure out what went wrong with the Knights, mm. uh, with the, the Sharks. Is all the focus too much on Nico Hines, maybe? Uh, he seems to handle it. He was superb against oh, the he Roosters. Was. He really was. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. You're right, Steve. I don't know either. Um, can I... Right. Well, if we can't solve it, I don't know who's right. going it's to... That's right. It's unsolvable. It's a... So to be, to be fair, can I just make, make a comment about the NRLW? Because my team, who's been uh, pretty flawless the last few weeks, was beaten soundly by the uh, by the Premiers, the uh, Newcastle Knights. The microphone um, is over to you. 20, 20 points to four. And again, we were in the wedding, so I couldn't watch this game at all. Um, Blame the wedding. Uh, the, um, I was at the wedding. Which, which concerns me. not like you weren't invited, son. We were, we were missing Millie Boyle, who who, uh, who is our best forward, and, um, and Jess Sergis, who's a phenomenal player in yeah. the centres. Um, but the... And I haven't seen the game, so I don't know exactly what happened, but... Um, I thought that we would be very competitive and this game would go either way. But in the end, it was 20 to 4 and it was um, a trouncing. Um, Tamika Upton, probably the best player in the, in the league at the moment, um, scored two tries and apparently was instrumental in everything. So, um, Roos has got some soul searching to do and um, yes, not good. There you go. There you go. That's it. That's the show, Steve. The Roosters have some not good soul searching to do. That's what he's going to end it on. I said some soul searching. Oh, it's not, not good. good. Well, yeah. it's a, you've not got some not good soul searching to do. No, you put any words in my mouth. Anyway, not that I would ever do that. Sure. That's it. That's it. That's so the show. So this is over. Next week it'll be over for Tom as well, hopefully. <laughs> oh, that's mean. You're probably right, but it's mean to say it. But not for me because we're in the knockout effect. We're not going to affect a cup. Which... I think that's the end of the show, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a knock-on effect, and that is stopping the show. Yeah, so. All right, well, thank you for watching. You're Tom Brown and Steve, and this is from the... Oh, hang on. Anything intelligent you want to end the show with? This late in the season, is it going to change? It's not going to change. It's still a Penrith Brisbane grand final. All right. Thank you for watching. Watch us on... me. Anyway, doesn't matter. Watch us on... What do you want to say, Tom? What would you like to say? Kind of, that's yeah, what I thought you were going to get. What's the point? Yeah, that's why you want me to say it. Um, you can watch us on Facebook on... Um, <laughs> I was going to say Marketplace. Watch us on Facebook, watch us on YouTube, or you can download this podcast and listen to it while you're driving to or from work on oh, Spotify. On Spotify. Mm. So please share it around, and we will see you next week. So thanks for watching. See Bye-bye. Ya. See ya. Beware the 